Hey viewers and welcome to my first Terraria video in which I will be going over all the pre-hard mode armors in Terraria. To start, I will be going over the wood section of this video, which contains all wooden armor which can be crafted in pre-hard mode. Starting with wood armor. Wood armor is the most easily accessible armor in Terraria and can be crafted as soon as you start a new world. The helmet provides one defense, breastplate provides one defense, and greaves provides zero. The buffs of wearing the full armor set provides one additional defense stat, which combined total provides three total defense before wearing the whole armor set. Next, rich mahogany, palm, and boreal wooden armor sets, which can be crafted from wood coming from the jungle, tundra, or ocean and oasis biomes. Wearing the helmet provides 1 defense, breastplate provides 1, and greaves provide 1, totaling to 3 defense with an additional 1 defense while wearing the full armor set as a bonus. Next is cactus armor, which was one of the best early game armors in the entire game, with the helmet, a breastplate, and greaves. And I don't think I need to tell you how to read words on the screen, so you know what, from now on, you'll just be reading how much defense each armor piece provides. The buffs included provide 1 extra defense stat, and Thorns protection, which is pretty good, and it's crafted using cactus from a desert. The next set we're looking at is both shade wood armor and its counterpart, ebon wood armor, which is crafted using your world's evil. It is made up of a helmet, a breastplate, and greaves. The buffs with wearing the full set is one additional defense stat, which totals to five total defense, and is the second best pre-hard mode wood armor in the entire game. Next, we're looking at ashwood armor, which is the best pre-hard mode wooden armor set in the entire game. It is composed of a helmet, a breastplate, and greaves. Wearing the full set reduces lava damage by 50% and the duration of the fire debuff. It can be crafted using ashwood which is found in the underworld. And a hidden exploit I found out recently in one of my shorts comments is that while wearing an obsidian rose and this armor set, you actually take no lava damage, which is pretty cool. Next let's move on to the metal section. For the metal section, I will be talking about two different armor types interchangeably because only one of them will be the main type in your world. Let's start things off with copper and tin armor, which are both composed of a helmet, chainmail, and greaves. Copper armor defense starts at 4, but with buffs go to 6, and tin armor starts at 5, and with buffs go to 7. Next, we're going to be looking at iron and lead armor. They are both composed of a helmet, chainmail, and greaves. Iron armor defense starts at 7 and goes to 9 with buffs, and lead armor starts at 8 but goes to 11 with buffs. The next armor sets are silver and tungsten armor. They are both composed of a helmet, breastplate, and greaves. Silver armor starts off at 10 defense but with buffs go to 13, and tungsten starts off at 12 but with the full armor set buffs goes to 15. Lastly, the best of these armor types are gold and platinum armor. They are composed of a helmet, chainmail, and greaves. For gold, the base stats is 13, but with the full armor set buffs, is 16. For platinum, it starts off at 16, but with the full armor set buffs, goes to 20. A hidden detail you probably hadn't noticed is that the ancient gold helmet can be interchanged with the gold helmet of the gold armor set. Now, out of any particular order, I will be going over the other pre-hard mode armors obtainable. Let's start things off with shadow armor, which is composed of a shadow helmet, Shadow Scale Mail, and Shadow Greaves. Using the full set provides 19 total defense, and increased movement speed and acceleration by 15%, and increased critical strike chance by 15%. The Shadow Armor is interchangeable with Ancient Shadow Armor and does the exact same thing. And to obtain Shadow Armor, you need to get Shadow Scales and Demonite Bars, which are dropped by the Eater of Worlds. The other World Evil set we'll be looking at is Crimson Armor, and is composed of a Helmet, Scale Mail, and Greaves. Wearing the full set provides 19 total defense and increased melee damage by 9 whole percent. And it also greatly increases life regeneration. And to obtain it, you should craft tissue samples and chromatine bars, which are dropped by the Brain of Cthulhu. For the next set we'll be looking at, we'll be looking at mining armor. And it is composed of a helmet, a shirt, and pants. Now, the helmet can be interchanged between three different types of helmets, the main ones being the mining helmet and ultra bright helmet. And the buffs for wearing the full set are between 4 defense and 6 defense with wearing the full armor set. The buffs include as well 30% mining speed with wearing the full set and has a light radius with wearing the full set, which is ideal for mining and gathering ores in the caves. The mining armor can be dropped by undead miners, but the mining helmet can also be bought from the merchant for 4 gold coins. The next armor set is ninja armor and it is composed of a ninja hood, a ninja shirt, and ninja pants. Wearing the full set provides 9 defense, 
increased movement speed by 20% and 9% critical strike chance. It is dropped by the Slime King. Looking at the next set, the Snow Armors, which are the Eskimo and the Pink Eskimo sets, are composed of a helmet, a shirt, and pants. They provide immunity to being frozen or chilled and have 9 defense. They are good for the icy environments and are dropped by zombie Eskimos. The Angler Armor, which is a drop by the Angler NPC at quest 10, 15, and 20, is composed of an Angler Hat, Angler Vest, and Angler Pants. Together, they make up 4 defense and help with increasing fishing skill and decreasing enemy spawn rate, which is perfect for fishing expeditions. The Rain Armor, which is composed of a Rain Hat and Rain Coat, makes up 3 defense and have no buffs together. It is dropped by Raincoat Zombies and doesn't really have any practical uses. The Ancient Cobalt Armor, which with the full set provides 17 defense, is made up of a helmet, a breastplate, and leggings. The buffs included are 80 mana capacity added onto it, plus 12% magical strike chance, plus 6% magic damage, and minus 16% mana usage. Each piece can also be interchanged with Jungle Armor to still get the full set bonuses of the Ancient Cobalt set. It is dropped by Hornets and Man Eaters in the Underground Jungle. The next set is Obsidian Armor and is made up of a hat, a long coat and pants, and wearing the full set provides 15% defense, plus 1 minion capacity, plus 31% minion damage, plus 15% whip speed, and plus 30% whip range. And to obtain it, you need obsidian, which is made from lava and water, silk, which is made from cobwebs at a loom, and either shadow scales or tissue samples from your world evil's bosses. The next set we are looking at is pumpkin armor, and it is made up of a helmet, a breastplate, and leggings, and it is a good early game armor. Wearing the full set provides 7 defense and plus 10% increased damage. If you can't find it on Halloween, you can also purchase seeds from the Dryad after defeating a single boss or converting cactus to pumpkins using Shimmer. The next armor set we're going to be looking at is Fossil Armor, which is made up of a helmet, a chestplate, and greaves. And wearing the full set provides 13 total defense, plus 8% range critical strike chance, plus 5% range damage, and plus 20% chance not to consume ammo. And it is obtained from mining fossils in the underground desert. The next set we're going to be looking at, which is made from items in the underground jungle, is the Bee Armor, which is made up of a headgear, a breastplate, and greaves. Wearing the full set provides 13 total defense, increased summon damage by 23%, and increases the summon slots by 2. And to obtain it, you need beadwax, which is dropped by the Queen Bee boss. The next set we're going to be looking at is Molten Armor, which is the best melee pre-hard mode set in Terraria. And it is composed of a helmet, a breastplate, and greaves. And wearing the full set provides 25 total defense, 17% increased melee speed, 7% melee critical strike chance, 7% melee swing speed, and can catch enemies on fire when hit with melee. And as an added bonus, the user cannot be set on fire. This does not mean, however, that you are lava proof. To obtain molten armor, you need hellstone bars, and to craft hellstone bars out of hellforge, you need obsidian and hellstone. Hellstone can be found in the underworld, while obsidian is made by mixing lava and water together. The next set we're going to be looking at is the Gladiator set, which is made up of a helmet, a chestplate, and greaves, and wearing the full set provides 16 total defense and immunity to knockback, and is dropped by hoplites in the marble biome. The next set, which is one of my favorite sets in the game, is the meteorite armor, and it is composed of a helmet, a suit, and leggings, and wearing the full set provides 16 total defense, and increases magic damage by 27%, and the space gun and zappinator, as an added bonus, use no mana to use, and to obtain it you need meteorite bars which are obtained from meteorite ore, which is obtained fallen meteorites after defeating your world evil. The next set, which is one of the best pre-hard mode magic sets in Terraria, is jungle armor, and it is composed of a hat, a shirt, and pants, and wearing the full set provides 17 total defense, and increases maximum mana by 80. It also increases magic critical strike chance by 12% and magic damage by 6. The set bonus reduces mana usage by 16%, and to obtain it, you need to craft jungle spores, vines, and stingers. To obtain jungle spores, you can find them in the underground jungle, and stingers are dropped by hornets and spike jungle slimes. Vines are dropped by man eaters, or more easily obtained using the guide to plant fiber cordage and breaking vines. The last set on this list is Necker Armor, and is composed of a helmet, a breastplate, and leggings, and wearing the full set provides 19 total defense. It also increases range critical strike chance by 10%, and 15% increased range damage. A funny thing about this set is that while wearing it, when you take damage, you make the same noise a skeleton makes while it taking damage. To obtain it, you need to craft bones and silk and an anvil, and bones are dropped by skeletons in the dungeon after defeating Skeletron, and silk is crafted at a loom using cobwebs. Thank you guys for watching my video on pre-hard mode armor sets. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.